Hi, it's me again, and I'm back with one of my favorite subjects to talk about on this channel, the letters from TV licensing. I like doing these because many people who don't know a lot about TV licensing receive these letters for one reason or another, they haven't paid, they couldn't afford to pay, whatever, and they stumble across these videos. And what I do here is I break these all these letters down and I let you know exactly what's going on and how not scared you need to be about it all. And it makes me happy to help people, that's why I do this for. So I've got this new letter today with a big red heading that says local investigation active in your postcode, which I've obviously had to edit out. And look at that, dated December 21. Merry Christmas from TV licensing. Right, let's take a look at this letter and we'll break it down as always, shall we? As there is no record of a TV license or your address, we have authorised an enforcement visit. So I'm going to come back to that, but enforcement visit, remember that bit and don't be scared by it. We're going to come back to that. It is a criminal offence to watch or record live TV programmes on any channel or device or download or watch BBC programmes on iPlayer without being covered by a TV licence. Blah, 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 blah. That bit is fair dues. Without a TV licence, whether you've cancelled it, you've told them you don't need a licence, or you've just stopped paying it, you can't watch anything as it's being broadcast and you can't use BBC iPlayer. That's the only things you can't do without a telly licence. Last year, we visited an address every six seconds with an asterisk. Does it tell me about the asterisk? Based on average annual visits between 2017 and 2019. So that's a lie then. Last year, we visited an address every th six seconds, and that's based on details from 2017 to 2019. There's a lie right there. That tells you how much you can trust the rest of this letter. Officers were in all parts of the country, including your postcode, every day. They knocked on around 8,000 doors, weekdays, evenings, and weekends. That's in there solely to scare you. They want you to know they can come around your house anytime they want. They've knocked on 8,000 doors in your area, weekdays, evenings, and weekends. We can come at any time. Be scared by your license. That's what they're saying there. That's what they're saying. So remember at the top I said, uh, we've authorised an enforcement visit on that line now, so we'll come back to that. So we'll come back to that now. So they use the term enforcement to scare you. Because you don't have a license, we must enforce ourselves upon you. It's not true. It's there to scare you. What the visit is, is a sales visit. Because the TV license isn't mandatory. It's only mandatory if you watch or record anything that's being broadcast with BBC iPlayer. But they don't know whether you're doing that or not. Without a license, you shouldn't be, obviously. But they don't know that. So they're going to send someone to your door on an enforcement visit to find out if you are. And they're going to ask to come into your property and look at your telly and switch it on. And then what they'll do is they'll find BBC, they'll put it on, and they'll issue you a fine or make you pay for a TV licence. What to remember here about letting them in is they're not bailiffs and they're not police. They don't have any special powers, I promise you, they really don't. Look on the TV licensing website about their enforcement officers. It says clearly there they are not police and they are not bailiffs. They have no power of entry. The only way they can get in is if you invite them in. You should never talk to them. So how you've got to see them is they're salespeople. They don't have any more powers than you or I. They're not bailiffs, they're not police, they're not enforcing anything. They're coming there to sell you a television license. If they can't sell you one, they want to try and get you a fine. Because these people earn commission. They're salesmen on commission. They're incentivized to pressure you and to try and upset you, and to try and force you and scare you into paying for something you may not need. Because that's how they earn their commission. They're incentivized to do that. Now, there's only one way to deal with them effectively. And that's, you know, you knock on your door, and you open it, you go, hello, who are you? And they say, hello, I'm from TV licensing, blah, blah, blah. You go, no, thank you. And you close the door in their face. That's it. You're perfectly within your rights to do so. They are salesmen with no powers. If you don't want to talk to them, and you should never talk to them, close the door in their face and they will toddle off. If you don't believe me that this is a thing you can do, I'll put a playlist below of people's goon visits they send in to me. And you will see many of them, doors just being closed in their face, saying no thank you, and they toddle off and try and find some easier prey, which we all hope they don't find. They're salesmen. They might come back again in the future, if they're feeling lucky, and they'll get a door closed in their face again, won't they? They will soon stop coming. It's the only way to deal with these people. You don't have to talk to them, you shouldn't talk to them. Don't sign anything if they ask you to sign it. You just close the door in their face. Your property, you have the right to do that. Don't worry about it. All right, let's read on. How to stop a visit. You can buy a TV license. Funny that, I would never have guessed. Or move an existing license to your current address or tell us you don't need one. Now you can tell them you don't need one 
in a thing that we call a no license needed exemption. And it lasts for two years and you tell them that you don't require a television license and they're supposed to leave you alone for two years. In truth, no, they, you still get letters, you may still get a knock on your door. So yeah, I do it, but mine runs out in a few months and I may not be renewing it. And an important thing to remember here, if you look at the top of this letter, it's addressed to the legal occupier. They don't know who this person is. So their investigation by their enforcement team it says there, local investigation active in your postcode. Their investigation hasn't gone far enough as to find this person's name yet. So I would advise this person not to do the no license needed exemption form because then you've got to give them your details. You don't need to give them your details. You don't want to buy anything from them, so you don't need to give them your details, do you? So this person should just continue to ignore the letters, which they are doing and they're happily doing. No problem at all. So yeah, but if, if you've had a license and you're cancelling it, they already have all your details. So if you want to do the no license needed exemption, go for it. That's why I did it. But um, I'm going to be moving house and I'm not going to renew it. I don't want them knowing who I am or where I live. And that's how I'm going to do it. But please don't be scared by these letters. If you've had other letters, there's a playlist down below of all the letters. As soon as I get one, I crack on with it and I break it down for you people to see how not scary it all is. Don't worry about the big red letters for local investigation. Don't worry about the words enforcement visit. You know, don't worry, we can come weekdays, evenings or weekends. Promise you, don't worry about it. They're just salesmen. If you do happen to get a knock on your door from one, they're just salesmen, close the door. Or you can just shout through the door, say, who are you? Through the door. And they say, I'm from TV Lines. They go, no, go away. And they will toddle off. They can't stand there banging on your door all day. They can't force their way in. They can't do anything. Don't worry about it. Maybe, you know, invest in a cheap IP camera or a ring doorbell or something, you know and do that. Ring doorbells are great for things like that. There are some privacy concerns and a subscription fee, but there might be cheaper options out there. Have a look on eBay, Amazon, whatever, if that's your bag. But I, I don't you know, promote them too much because I think you should be free to open your own front door in your own house. I've always said that. And open the door. Hello, who are you? I'm TV licensing. No thanks. Bang, door shut. Done. It's that simple, isn't it? Nothing to be scared of at all. If you have any further questions about this letter, if you've got it and you're a bit worried about something in another letter maybe you've got, You'll find out how to contact me in the details below. Send your letter over, send any correspondence you've had from them over, and I'll go through and I'll let you know all about it and whether you need to worry or not. But I guarantee it's a not. So I hope that's helped a few people out there. As I say, if you've got any questions, you'll find out how to contact me down below in order bump. Why are you down there? Leave a comment, let me know about your letters or if you found this useful or anything. Hit the like button if you did. Hit the subscribe button if you really did. Don't hit any other buttons like the dislike button. Bad button. And um, yeah, do all that, and I will see you in another video again soon. Thanks for watching.